when you're when you're making a, or constructing a, a site-specific work, um, you have to be very alert to the particular situation, the light, the space, and you have an idea about what it is that you're going to get and what it is you're after. But you have to be very open to that changing as well. So it's. It's very much like a musician um, playing a concert and they have an idea of the song uh, and how it's going to work, but they might, for example, if a guitar solo is going really well, ad lib a little bit. And I think it, that's, a, that's a good sort of analogy for this, this sort of approach. Um, you know, I, I'm very sort of sensitive to the light in a space and sometimes that can really inform what colours become more dominant. You know, this has got a very cool floor, it's a cool pale uh, colour. The space is reflecting that, the grey is reflected in the room, so it's quite a cool room. So in a way, the colours I'm picking are hotter and more saturated and vibrant to sort of contrast with that. This is the first site-specific uh, splat painting that I've done. I've, um, that's what the series of works is called. Um, before that, I made a, a number of works which were lines of colour which are poured down a wall and would puddle and collect at the bottom. So this is, this is a slightly different um, approach for me. So it, it's taking a little bit of time to, to really fine-tune it, and I've started off quite slowly, and as I've kind of got more used to it, I think I've built up uh, more speed. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm enjoying it actually. It's really interesting to see the way that it's working on this scale. It's, um, so it's a new thing for me and I'm excited to see how it's going to finish. And my paintings are, in a way, they're not painted. The marks aren't, um, you know, I'm not using a paintbrush. I'm not trying to describe something. The mark is something that happens. A, a drip is something, it's, a, it's a, almost like a ready-made. It's like a sort of Duchampian thing. It, it, it just happens. This is naturally what these marks do. And what I'm trying to do is then put them together in a particular arrangement to make something else happen. Often I'll spend a lot of time preparing a canvas or an aluminium panel or something like that, which I normally work on, or paper, for example. So it, 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 there's always a risk element when you come to a gallery space to see what the walls are like. In this particular case, the gallery walls are very beautifully prepared and very smooth. And I'm enjoying the way that the paint is hitting the wall and is that some of the liquid is being absorbed by the, by the wood in the, in the fabric of the building and taking some of the moisture out. But it's a very solid thing to paint on, so um, you know, it seems to be reacting very sensitively to the way that I'm working. When I come to Italy, one of the things that really strikes me is just what the, the wealth of art history in this country is extraordinary, especially, you know, European, Western art history. I mean, Italy has predominantly most of the masterpieces. It's just unbelievable. But one of the things that um, I really like particularly about Italy is the site-specific works, you know, you find in churches and the way the, the church uh, particularly commissioned artists to make things in special spaces. The most famous painting probably in Milan is by Leonardo of The Last Supper and um, you know, that is just such a wonderful thing. So it's, it's incredible to be in Milan and to have an opportunity to make something here and you know, with that fantastic wealth of art history around. It's 500 years since Leonardo uh, was born so it sort of feels particularly special to be here and doing something in this wonderful space. Thank you.